Hi Scorpio, getting ready to do your weekly love reads from the 16th to the 20th of December. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button because I will be releasing the details for the giveaway of the personal read this week. You don't want to miss the information on that. Okay, don't forget these are general readings. So don't come at me in the comments that this isn't your message. That's okay. It is a reading for the collective. It can't possibly resonate with every single person every single week. So by all means, feel free to check out any other readers on YouTube. There are heaps of amazing readers to choose from. And hit that notification button anyway because you know what? The next reading might be for you and you don't want to miss that message. All right, let's get started. Oof. Okay, we'll take her. Love messages, please. We'll take that as a signifier. Sign significator? Signifier? All right. Love reading. Love messages for Scorpio, please. Ooh, okay. Scorpio, the story coming out here. What's happening, Scorpio? So many swords coming in. I'm just going to put this old girl up here. We'll move everyone across a little bit. Okay. Interesting. We'll take one more, please. Love messages, Scorpio, please. much as I'd love to take that big chunk of cards. It's not right. Ooh, okay, Scorpio. Mm, whatever's going on, there may be some bad judgment here. Some bad, bad judgment calls going on. There's definitely, uh, it looks like you guys might be sitting in a very kind of social aspect, lots going on, very busy time um, this week. But, I don't know, this is fire sign card, but this has obviously come out beforehand. Um, but you're kind of like... Hmm. All right, let's get some clarifiers before I say anything. All right, uh, information on the King of Swords, please. King of Swords. Oof. My hands are cold, so my shuffling is a bit random, sorry. Peeling. Okay, you may have an air sign or someone who is very king of swords who sees you as their empress. Let's go around the king of swords, please. King of swords. Okay. So it's someone that um, you may have only recently started talking to again. Um, they, they may have only just recently realized how they feel about you. But you got, I think you guys are in communication at the moment. If not, you're about to be. Um, what's this? Hierophant, please. What's the Hierophant? Okay, yeah. So it was someone that you took a long time to get over. More on the Hierophant, please. Ah, oh, come on. It might have been a Cancer or a Pisces. The High Priestess just poked her little head out. Yeah, but you're kind of... There's some regret here, maybe on both sides. Um, but it's past regret. You're not feeling it now. At the time, I think there was a lot of regret. Maybe things left unsaid. Um, I'm just trying to feel whether this is the same person coming rushing back in or if this is someone new, which is 
kind of forcing them back in. Let's see, who's this Knight of Swords, please? Oh, yeah, I think it's this person coming back in. Knight of Swords, please. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely someone you've walked away from in the past or who has walked away from you in the past. And they are coming back. For some of you, I think that you may have recently somehow connected again, be it you've been at the same place by chance, you've walked past each other in the street, something. Um, I feel like it's an, a chance meeting and that's what's brought all this up for this other person again. Um, let's see, who's this Four of Swords, please? What's the Four of Swords? There's this regret and this still. Okay, so I think this anxiety and regret is attached to this other person. I think they've realized they made a mistake. Judgment in reverse, please. They made the wrong choice by leaving, I think, by walking away. <laughs> yes, lovers. Okay, so it looks like they made the, they realized Ah, okay, so I just thought then the grass wasn't greener. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're going to call this. Grass wasn't greener. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they've, I don't know whether they've accidentally run into you or they've just decided to reach out to you. Um, if they haven't yet, they may very soon, but they've literally gone through this whole uh, anxiety, regret, they're worried that they've lost their opportunity with you. They have realized that they made a mistake. It's possible that that's, this is the queens come out, this social queens come out because that's where they're catching you. Like that's where they're seeing you. You might be at a function together. Um, I feel, yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like you're out somewhere and you run into them and then they, it all comes rushing back to them. What an amazing human you are and they're like, why did I ever let Scorpio go? Like what the hell was wrong with me? And it sets off this chain of events that makes them go, oh, I have made a big mistake. Let's do thoughts and feelings, your thoughts and feelings on this because it's not clear to me what what you guys want to do or are thinking. So thanks for Scorpio, please. Okay, yeah, you're pretty clear in your mind, whatever it is. Okay, and you don't want to uh, risk a tower again. This is also your card at times. Um, I don't know if you're going to go for it, Scorpio, because I feel like you're like, I can't risk going through this shit again, basically. I've just got myself together. I'm over here in Queen of Wands energy, lo loving life, enjoying getting out there, having a great time, catching up with people, dinners, drinks, parties, whatever it is. I don't want anyone to mess with that. What are their thoughts and feelings, please, Scorpio person's thoughts and feelings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, they absolutely want to come towards you with an apology. Like, it doesn't get any clearer than the Eight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. I want to tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. Whew, much is on fire tonight. All right, let's see what's going to happen this week. What's the most likely outcome, please, for Scorpio this week in this situation? Most likely outcome for Scorpio this week in this situation. This is big, Scorpio. Oof. Okay. All right, King of Pentacles, you may actually be dealing with an Earth sign coming towards you, but that's really just a... Um, it's also a very stable, solid offer. It's my relationship offer card. Um, because the pentacle isn't based on passion. It isn't based on 
emotion. It isn't based on, I think I should do this. It's based on all three of those elements and forms the perfect circle kind of thing in my view. That's just my view of what that means. Um, but it's a very grounded, balanced offer, very well thought out. It's not spur of the moment like some of the other um, or um, unbalanced, which is some of the other uh, suits that we deal with. Um, the strength card in reverse as well. So that's signifying some vulnerability by this person. I think they're going to... Maybe play on your heartstrings. Yeah, you've got the three of three of um, swords there. Yeah, I think what there there may be an offer that's coming in, and they will be doing the no. Please give me another chance. Don't hurt me. I will never hurt you again. You'll break my heart if you don't accept my offer. Like trying to, like I say, play on your emotions play to your vulnerabilities they may know how you tick very well one more please on outcome final outcome for scorpio please and i don't think they're doing this in a manipulative way but they're just trying everything they can there you go for you to be that queen of pentacles they are trying to create a king and queen scenario of pentacles this is long-term stable commitment um they have realized they are king of pentacles at the moment. They are trying to come towards you and make you their queen. So the way that the cards set out then too were very deliberate. Um, it goes end to end, like two bookmarks, okay, or bookends, sorry. Yeah, and it's reversed in the camera, don't forget. Scorpio, this is big. I'm changing it. That's what I'm going to call this reading. Okay, let's see. Advice, please. What does Spirit think Scorpio should do? Advice. And just because this is what you're thinking now doesn't mean that's what's going to stay your thinking, okay? Advice for Scorpio in this situation for this week, please. Advice for Scorpio in this situation for this week. Okay. Ooh. Okay. One more, please. Good advice. Oh, this breaks my heart, Scorpio. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Okay, well, and there you are on the bottom of the deck in reverse. Okay, well, I can't deny what's going on here. It's kind of like, don't accept this person's offer. Don't have a new start. Don't even entertain the idea of considering this. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, because it's going to end up being a, a whole lot of work. Um, now, you could also read it that, you know, doing all those things, you're going to have to work hard if you ignore all those things. But I feel like you may be being cautioned. Could also mean let make them work for it, you know. Don't just give in. Don't just start a new start. Don't just let them go, oh, I'm never going to juggle you again. Um, let them do all the work to make sure that they are actually serious this time. This is something that's come up a lot for, for um, readings lately. M letting people, other people who have shown their true colours in the past and are coming back around again, we for some reason get confused when they come back and give more than what they've given us because we're just so glad to have them back. No, you should give equally. So if they're giving you this much, you come to here. That's equal. It doesn't look like it on the things. So if they're coming here, you go to here. If they give you this, you go to this. If they give you this, you come right back down with them. 
okay? It's important that you maintain that same level of energy that you're inputting into this. Okay, my dog's streaming. That's her kind of yelping in the background. Apologies. <laughs> All right, romance angels, please, for my Scorpio peeps. Oof. Sorry, guys. Express your love. Okay. So express your love to the extent that you're being shown love. So that's, it's like being, it's like be careful about how you're expressing your love. Don't go overboard. Don't be afraid to say how you feel and what you want and set your expectations and your non-negotiables. But... Don't express more than you need to, okay? All right, Scorpio, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the comments if you find or you found this resonated. <laughs> if it didn't, look, check out other YouTube readers. This time around might not be your message. That's okay. Uh, and don't forget to hit the notification button for the details on that personal reading giveaway. Talk to you for the weekends. Bye.